Hello makers, Melly here from AGF. Welcome to the AGF Quilt Block Collection. I can't stop ooing and aahing over Jessica Swift's brand new fabric collection called Luku. My favorite prints from the collection are definitely the Sova Nightlight print. These folkloric owls are just the cutest of fussy cut. I also think the Odyssey Aurora print is so adorable. These colorful, playful moths are so cheery. I wanted to incorporate all of my favorite prints from Lugu Fabrics and sew up the domino and star block. The construction of this block was so much fun and perfect for beginner quilters. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this block with great tips and tricks along the way. Make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to see how my block comes together and for details on this super cute rayon blouse that I'm wearing. If you're new to our channel and love learning new quilting techniques, don't forget to subscribe below to watch more fun sewing tutorials like this one. Check out the description box below and download a printable PDF with all the cutting requirements and step-by-step -step instructions. To construct our flying geese, we'll be using the corner square triangle method. Take all your 2 and 1 4 in squares from fabric B, with the orientation of the print going in the same direction. Draw a diagonal line from corner to corner, with the fabric marking pen and straight edge with half your lines going to the right and the other half going to the left. So your lines will point into the center. Place a fabric B square right sides together to the end of your two and one fourth by four inch strips from fabric C and sew on the line you drew. Trim your seam allowance to one fourth inch and press open. Repeat this same process with your remaining two and one fourth inch squares. You now should have four flying geese using the corner square triangle method. To sew up the center of your block, Rearrange your flying geese with the points of your geese facing into the center of your block. Place your two and one fourth inch squares from fabric C in each corner. Place your fussy cut four inch owl into the center and sew into a block to create your center unit. To create the outer section of your block, create four units sewing a two and one fourth inch square from fabric F and G. Sew these units to the top and bottom of a 4 inch square from fabric D. Find the center of your 4 inch squares from fabric E and your outer pieces and line up your crease marks and sew at 1 4 inch. Sew your outer pieces to each side of your center block. To create your top and bottom pieces, sew 2 2 and 1 4 inch squares from fabric F to a 2 and 1 4 inch square from fabric G. Make 4 of these units. Sew each of these units to either side of a 4 inch square from fabric D. Take your remaining 4 inch squares from fabric E and find the center of each block and the center of the top and bottom pieces. Line up your crease marks and sew at 1 4 inch. Sew your top and bottom pieces to your center block. Your domino and star block is complete. Make sure to share your quilt block creations made with AGF fabrics on social media using the hashtag AGF quilt block collection. Our domino and star block is complete. And my first thought is I'm totally digging this color combination. Okay, okay, I can't wait to show you my super cute blouse. The pattern is by Berta style and this pleated peplum blouse has the most perfect fit and flow. It's definitely going to be a well-worn go-to garment in my closet. Let me know what you think about my blouse in the comments below. For more fun sewing projects made with Lugu Fabrics, make sure to check out our new fabric project catalog. The link is in the description box below. Like always, thanks so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with all your sewing friends. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Until next time, happy sewing.